trade unions attached to the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation have begun a strike. Are their demands justifiable? Find out on News Matters. Trade union actions are on the rise after the new government's ascension to power. While it can be identified as a sign of a vibrant democracy, this trend has caused serious inconvenience to the public at large. Many professionals who cater to the essential needs of the public, from doctors to electricity workers to private bus owners, have attempted to hold the people to ransom. The latest group to join the bandwagon is Petroleum Workers, who launched a trade union action on Monday, alleging the government was preparing to sell the oil tanks in Trincomalee to India. Trade unions affiliated with the JVP and a few other parties were at the forefront of this union action. As a result, long queues were seen at petrol stations across the island after the announcement was made as commuters stocked up on fuel. Unions do have the right to strike. While the right to strike is not a fundamental right as in the freedom of association, under labour law the right to trade union action is recognised. What is happening in Sri Lanka right now is a blatant abuse of trade union rights. It is clear that most of these trade union actions, strikes and protests are politically motivated. They hold the public to ransom to achieve their political objectives and they hide behind the cloak of trade union rights to justify the unjustifiable. This inevitably creates a situation where genuine trade union action loses momentum and credibility, especially in the eyes of the common public. The public has now begun to view all trade union action with cynicism and suspicion as a great disruption of day-to-day -day activities. This has caused great damage to trade unions that have genuine concerns relating to their sectors. It is in this context that the government must take this matter seriously and ensure that the day-to-day -day activities of the public remain intact despite the clamour of politically motivated trade unions. The government showed that it was capable of this approach when the president issued a gazette notification last week making garbage disposal an essential service and allowing the police to arrest unruly protesters disrupting garbage collection and disposal. The same frame of mind is needed to tackle the issue of trade unions operating with a terrorist mindset. The government should now understand that it is their duty to protect the public and not to satisfy the needs of politically motivated trade unions. Join us for another segment of News Matters on Friday. I am Royal Raymond. Get the Daily News app free on your mobile phone. Visit apps.lakehouse.lk and download today. Daily News. Be better informed.